so today let's start with your information gathering okay so first step of your attack is to collect information about your target network so that thing is called as footprinting this is the first step that any attacker will perform to collect information about your target network so that it will be easy for us to intrude into that particular system okay so reconnaissance is your common term to get to understand about your targets tactic that is a military term so when we say collecting information about a network at that time we use your term footprinting so in our case we will be using footprinting again it can be of two types passive and active passive means that we are collecting information we are gathering information without making a direct contact without directly interacting with the target okay for example if i want to collect information about you guys i will try to collect information through your social media handles okay i will try to collect information through your colleagues your relatives without making a direct contact with you active means making a direct contact now in our case what we can do we can divide this footprinting process into three domain one is collecting information with respect to your organization then collecting information with respect to a network okay and then collecting information with respect to a system these three things will cover everything related to your footprinting around your target first is collecting information with respect to your organization now in your organization your system will be part of a network so collecting information with respect to your network and then collecting information with respect to your system so according to you if i say that you need to collect information about your organization so what will come into your mind what all information you can collect with respect to your organization first let's discuss what all things we will collect then we will see how we will collect those things so with respect to organization what information you will be collecting let's say i tell you that you need to collect information about google or facebook you will try to collect information about the people who are working there so your employee details second all the telephone numbers that are associated to your organization you will try to collect that thing also okay so your support desk your help desk uh, your admin number any other number whatever phone numbers you can gather associated it associated to your organization you will try to collect that thing then at what locations your organization is situated okay is there any any branch or not is it situated at a single place or not okay information related to the branch and location so here we can write background of organization if you know the organi organization background it will be easy to you to understand that what type of data your organization will have 
then we can add technologies that are used by your organization okay if a organization has a web page what all technologies are being used by that particular page okay then we can collect information uh with respect to your news articles okay so any information that is published in your news related to the organization you can collect that thing also okay so when i say news anything if let's say i'm going for some news publish okay so there will be some press release for that also okay any information that is present in a magazine related to the organization that will be very useful for me okay so we can write and others related documents one more thing we can add social media nowadays every organization have a social media page okay so i can try to uh, get to know about the social media networks okay information related to your supply chain that is also very important i guess we have covered everything right so this is the information that we can collect with respect to the organization now comes your network okay now comes your network so let's say my target server is present in a network so what type of information i can collect with respect to your network first thing is domains and subdomains associated to your server when i say domain subdomains i can also add your ip address okay all the ip address of reachable system and the network then dns records because we are talking with respect to domains and ips we can try to understand the network topology okay sometimes if you know the network topology of your target network it becomes easy to add your machine in that network then have you guys heard of network blocks what is a network block cidr block related to your ip subnets okay that is your network blocks so here we can try to find how many subnets are present in your network okay some can be with respect to your server some can be with respect to your workstations okay some can be with respect to a particular uh, workstation related to a department so we have to understand that thing also let's see what is a uh, who is record okay so the website is who dot is i'm sharing the link in the chat okay so here all you need to do is enter the ip address or the domain name for example if i type www.amazon.in so let's see what information we are getting related to this particular domain 
gateway timeout. Let's see. This is a HTTP status code. So we have few series like one double X, two double X, three double X, four double X, five double X. Okay. One double X is with respect to information. Two double X is with respect to your success. For example, if I make a request to a web server, once the web server replies to my request, I will get a success code that will be part of your two double X series. Three double X is for redirection. Okay. Redirection means let's say I'm making a request to amazon.com and my request has been redirected to some other domain. Let's say Amazon dot in this is redirection i made a request for this i am redirected to this particular domain so there are again multiple status in your three double x series four double x is your client error okay error from our side and five double x is your server error it means server is facing some issue so you might have faced this error 404 file not found. It means whatever file you are trying to search at your target, that thing is not available. Okay. So that is a client error. Now server error means when you are trying to make a request to the server and server is not able to process that thing. Okay. So right now we are getting 504. It is your gateway timeout error okay it means server is not able to respond to our request sometimes you will see 500 also that is internal server error okay if a service is not available then you will see 503 service not available okay these are your http status code so right now target is facing some issue that is why we are not able to generate our results for the request so we will try it after some time for your who dot is let's come back to your notes okay this is all the information that we can collect with respect to a network now comes last part your system with respect to your system what information you will collect with respect to a system what is for information you will be collecting so type of os will also come under this yeah so here you can write operating system on your target what os is present is it a unix linux based is it a windows environment or is it a mac environment open ports and services running on those ports credentials okay is there any public email associated to that system anything else that you can collect with respect to a system 
okay so i guess these are all the stuff related to your system and this is what we will try to collect through different different methods in your footprinting part okay with respect to organization these details with respect to your network these details with respect to your system these details so let's see some sources through which we can try to gather information first thing is doing a basic google search okay so getting information through your search engines that is the very common thing we can do okay if i have a uh, application version what i will do i will simply do a google search okay so first thing we can write over here footprinting through your search engines so here we can add few names google bing chat gpt part of your bengal only yahoo baidu famous in china and one more thing we can add very famous one dug dug po these are few search engines through which we can collect your information we can try to do footprinting then you should know about google docking okay since we are talking with respect to search engines you should know about google docking so basically when we normally do a search we get multiple results okay so now our job is to filter those results because i don't want to waste my time while doing a search through a search engine so i will always try to filter my search so there comes your google docking okay we have certain operators using which we can filter our search around your google so there are some operators that we will see that how those operators can help us to filter the results on my web page so first i will write the name of the operators then we will see the functions of those particular operators in url all in url in title all in title in text file type define related mm site and link okay these are the common ones so let's see what these operators are and how they will help me filter my search so let's open your google first thing is your in url as the name suggest it means i want to restrict my results related to the keyword that should be present in the url okay now for example if i simply do a search okay let's say i search for the term hacking okay i am doing a search for the term hacking now here you can see we have three things 
this is the URL and this is the title and inside this page we have the text that what all things are present inside this particular web page okay so when i'm using in url it means i am trying to search for a keyword inside the url okay when i'm using in title it means i'm trying to search for the keyword that is present in the title when i'm trying to search for something that should be present inside the web page so in text okay for example if i want that in the url keyword hacking should be present whatever results i'm getting okay on this particular google page whatever results i'm getting in the url your hacking should be present so what i will do i will write something like this in url okay colon whatever keyword i want to have in your double quotes double quotes will make it in the form of a string so if i search something like this in url colon double quotes inside that you're hacking in every result that i'm getting over here in the url we will have the term hacking in it so let's say let's open this one you can see in the url we have hacking if i open let's say this one in the url we have hacking similarly if i use let's say if i open let's say this one in the url we have the keyword hacking okay so here what is happening whatever keyword i was trying to search it was present in the url of my every result whatever result i'm getting in the google that keyword is present in the url that is the job of your in url when i say all in url all in url for example if i want to search for multiple things okay let's say i want to search for a complete string like for example question mark php equal to 4 this thing should be present in the url so i want every keyword should be present in the url at that time i will be using all in url in url means whatever keywords you are searching one of the you uh, one of the keyword should be present but when i say all it means everything should be present in the url same goes for in title when i'm searching for in title let's say facebook it means on the title facebook should be present and when i say all in title facebook account disabled so all means all the keywords should be present okay so this is your in title all in title then we have in text there is nothing like all in text because that will be part of your complete web page result so if i search for in text and let's say hacking it means whenever i open a web page in the result in that web page hacking should be present so let's try this thing so instead of in url if i type in title So in the title we have hacking here also here also hacking here also here also here here also any result that i'm getting over here 
it will contain hacking in the title similarly if i open in text so in the text any website that i open it will have hacking in it for example if i open this one in the text here you can see hacking okay if i open let's say this one i'm opening any random website in this text they will have hacking so this is taking time so let's open someone some other page now here you can see we have the term hacking okay so try these three keywords in title in url and in text okay so next thing we have is a file type file type means in the results you are looking for a particular file for example let's say in the result whatever results i'm getting over here okay whatever results i'm getting over here every result should be in the form of a pdf okay every result should be in the form of a pdf so what i can do i can use something like hacking okay because this is what i want to search now whatever results i'm getting with respect to hacking everything should be in the form of a pdf so i will type file type then your pdf file type call on your pdf now here you can see whatever results i'm getting pdf 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 if we scroll down pdf pdf everything is in your pdf form you can see everything is in the form of pdf so as soon as i open this particular link a pdf will be downloaded so here what file type means we are looking for a particular file in the results okay so right now what we were doing we were looking for a pdf files related to your hacking now i can use multiple operators at the same time also for example in the url i want hacking but file type should be pdf okay let's try this thing also so here let's add in your url we want the keyword hacking and file type should be pdf okay so now whatever results i'm getting it is the combination of these two operators in the url we will have hacking and file type is your pdf every results that we have here is it in the form of pdf okay this is your file type operator then we have define okay what define will do it will give you the results related to the definition of the keyword that you are searching okay for example i want in the results definition of hacking okay in the results whatever results i am getting every web page should contain the definition of the word hacking so at that time i will use this particular keyword your operator define so if i write define hacking so let's remove these things 
and let's add your define and hacking so here you can see what is hacking what is hacking what is hacking what is hacking all the results i'm getting it will contain the definition of the keyword hacking in it okay so when you're looking for a particular definition of a keyword at that time we will use your define so here in the examples i will add okay so that you can also perform define colon hacking now here you can use combination also define hacking and results you want in the form of pdf okay so file type pdf then we have related related means you are getting the results of web pages that are similar to a specified web page okay for example i am looking for the results related to hacking okay but i want to be very specific okay i want my results related to facebook only okay results are for hacking but it should be related to specific facebook only okay so let's try this thing so i'm looking for hacking okay but whatever results i'm getting related to your hacking it should be specific to facebook only okay so related to facebook so let's see what results we get from this now here you can see whatever results i'm getting it is related to your facebook facebook account highest taking actions against hackers in bangladesh and vietnam your beta facebook scammers hack accounts scammers are hacking facebook accounts how to hack facebook every results will be related to your facebook only hacked and fake accounts facebook help center facebook security breach facebook account hacked bug bounty hacking okay this is for facebook hacking in the url you can see meta stores facebook users leaked online every result that i am getting it is related to your facebook okay so now what i did i specified my search that whatever results you are giving me for hacking it should be related to facebook so here we can write hacking and it should be related to facebook
then last two we have one more we can add index of if you have not added yep next we have is your site so what site will do it will restrict your result to all those websites that are in your given domain okay and then we have link link it is very similar to your you can say related okay what related was doing it was trying to map your web pages that are similar okay that are similar to facebook what link will do it will directly link your web pages to your specified target okay this is the basic difference between your link and your related related it will give you the results similar to your target but what link will do it will directly link your results to your target so let's try this thing so here you can see this was for hacking related to facebook okay all the results similar to facebook now instead of related if i link it that link my results to facebook now here you can see results are quite similar but now we are directly linking it to facebook or if i write site facebook let's see what will happen we have to give the domain facebook.com all the results i'm getting it is for facebook.com okay results for hacking on facebook.com see all the results that i'm getting over here it is on facebook.com because i have given a operator site that i want the results on this particular site only for by hacking okay so try these keywords i will give you some time 5 to 10 minutes try these things by yourself so hacking site let's say amazon dot com hacking and let's link it to google okay try these things i will give you 5 to 10 minutes and then we will with then we will see the last operator your index of okay completed and last one we have is index of what this thing will do it will map all the directories that are present in a web server and it will give you the results in the form of a listed directory so for example if i search for index of hacking index of hacking so let's see what type of results we are getting we should get the results in the form of directories here you can see if i open the first one i'm getting the results in the form of directory hacking hackers if i let's say open hacking i'm getting some pdf okay if i open let's say javascript injections i'm getting some pdf if i open virus i'm getting some files and pdf similarly if i open let's say this particular link 
and getting the results in the form of directories defcon 24 direct memory attack the kernel if i download this thing i can read about this particular attack okay so here if index of python hacking this is from university of florida these are all the files that are present related to your hacking okay so what index of operator will do it will map all the directories and give you results in the form of directories of a particular website 